How's it going guys? Welcome to my first ever spigot slash bucket plugin review and in this review we're going to be doing Parrot Announcer. Now this is a auto broadcasting plugin that's recently come out which is on spigot. I'll leave the download down below in the description. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and then download that and drop it into your plugins folder and reload or restart your server. Then you want to reconnect to your server and type this command in chat slash announcer. This will open this, uh, this menu uh, also known as a GUI. The compass allows you to search for a message if you can't find it, if you have so many, and the anvil is to create a new one. So you want to left click that. And now, now what we can do is add a message. So for example, we could say and seven ser server name. So you didn't put your server name there. And seven again. Join my dis Discord server. And then you could have the link there, obviously. So yeah, this uh, supports color codes. I'll also leave a link down below showing all the color codes that are available. Um, but yeah, so you want to go ahead and press enter, and it'll open up another GUI asking for the time. So we have seconds, minutes, hours, or days, and you can also remove that as well if you made a mistake. So we're going to add we're going to have it one minute, it's going to do it every minute, um, it says how long up here, and then you just want to go ahead and click confirm. Now as you can see, it's going to advertise it in the next 57 seconds in chat. So if we wanted to add a line, we would right click, if we want to delete it, we would left click, and if we want to add a permission to it, we would middle click. So to add a permission, middle click, as you can see, the permission node is now announcer.1. So for example, if you have PEX, you, you would want to do pex group and then the, the group name and then uh, you want to do add and then announce dot uh, one and then that'll just give them that message instead of everyone on the server um, so that's how you give people uh, permissions to see certain messages um, so you can also right click to add another line so we could say uh, for example, we're just going to say hello, and as you can see it's now added another line, so in four seconds you should see this message in chat. So you can see it says, server name, join my Discord server, and then the link, which should be there if you want to, and then at the line underneath it, it says hello. So it's a great little plugin that you can have on your server to announce your Twitter or any sort of social media links. So I'm just going to create another one now to show you how the, the search works. Um, so, for example, we're just going to say, um, see ya, and we're going to call it see ya, and we'll have it a day long, how about that? Um, so now you can see that there's two uh, in here now. Um, so what I want to go ahead and do is if we press search and type in see ya, you can clearly see that it only comes up with the see ya one because that's what I searched for. So if you had so many uh, in here, then you can search for a specific one if you wanted to. Um, and that's pretty much it. Before we end the video, I'm just going to go ahead and open the command file, which in here you have the permission for people to go ahead and open the announcer to create them. You also have the command, so if you want, you can actually go ahead and change the command, and you can also have it if it's enabled or disabled, and then you also have its aliases. Um, so, you know, this, this plugin is completely customizable. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this plugin, let me know in the comments below and I will reply as soon as possible. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.